Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Looking to Bitcoin, and today we're going to be looking at a metric that confirms where we are in the Bitcoin cycle. To do this, we'll be using a number of resources that are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So right now here, we're just on the Look Into Bitcoin site, just scrolling through a lot of the metrics we have, market cycle, on-chain, mining charts, pretty much everything you'd ever need to be a great investor and analyst within the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency markets. But there's one metric that I've been watching very closely recently that's given some great insights onto where we almost certainly are within the Bitcoin cycle. And this chart is, if I just scroll down enough, the realized cap hodl waves. So what are the realized cap hodl waves? Well, it builds upon the hodl waves chart we also have on Look Into Bitcoin. The hodl wave chart shows us the percentage of each age band that is currently holding Bitcoin. So for example, if I just scroll down to the key here, I might explain a little better. So we can see from 24 hour wallets that have only held Bitcoin for less than a day up to over 10 years, wallets that have been holding Bitcoin for over a decade. On the standard hodl waves chart, we can see the percentage of each of these bands that makes up the entire Bitcoin network. So for example, if we saw a 10% value on the one to two years, it would show that 10% of all Bitcoin on the network has been held for a one to two year period. Whereas the realized cap, like we said, builds upon this by taking into account the average accumulation price of each of these bands. So if we just scroll down here, we can see the R hodl waves are telling us the cost basis of Bitcoins that have been held in wallets for different period of time. Each time period is shown by the waves on the chart more eloquently than I could ever put it. But if we just scroll up here, I think what we can do is really get an idea of where we may be in the cycle just by looking at the average accumulation price of some of the more longer term holders in the Bitcoin space. Because we can see here, these more red warmer colors indicate the shorter term wallets, which peak as Bitcoin's price is coming to these overheated market conditions when potentially we're overbought at the peak of a cycle. So if we remove these, it takes out of the equation the more short-term retail traders' interest and looks at the more experienced longer-term holders who are potentially trying to maximize their profits on a longer-term basis. So if we just exclude all of them beneath one month, we can see that this is just looking at the percentage of the realized cap influence of wallets of one month and above. So we can see, as we said, once the markets peaking that this dips fairly substantially to beneath 40% in some cases in the earlier cycles and when the market's a little bit more in a downturn when there's not too much retail interest and people are holding onto their coins in anticipation of higher future prices this can reach levels up above 90% and what we can do is actually see where we are in the current cycle and see how that lines up as well as the data patterns with previous cycles. So all I've done here is draw this red box, which contains a fair amount of data that we're actually seeing very similar things to we have seen previously, where we reach the upper levels of this red box that I've just drawn on here and start seeing slightly declining values of these more longer term holders in the Bitcoin market. And we can see this has happened in every single bear cycle or transitionary period from bear cycle into bull cycle for the Bitcoin price. And really, if we just isolate each of these periods and the price action these periods represent, we can see that we're probably in a very similar position now. So here, like I've said, I've just highlighted the price action where we had these realized cap zones performing very similar patterns to what we see now. And we can see all of them are just following where we have this bottoming price action before a strong rebound that really breaks the trend of downwards price action, potentially leads a lot of traders and investors at disbelief that maybe a new cycle is starting. We can see all the way back even until 2012, we've seen very similar price action and patterns of this exact kind, where we can see this move up, slight retracement after we've had this large move and it, that really indicates that the new bull cycle is starting and again in 2015 into 2016 and again into 2018 2019 we've seen this price action repeat over and over and in every single instance it's led to higher prices in the bitcoin price and has signified that the worst is now behind us and if i just zoom in on the current price action we can see this almost lines up perfectly there's almost an inverse correlation between this metric increasing fairly substantially and the Bitcoin price action either decreasing or stagnating. Once we see a downturn in the Bitcoin price action, again, we see this increase. And once we see the Bitcoin price action begin to increase, we see this decrease. And as, like we said, this is peaking at values we've seen in each of the previous cycles. This gives us a lot of confidence, especially following the 100% returns we've seen the, from the lows we set last year that we're now in the very early stages of the next bull cycle. And until we really see the realized cap hodl waves and these much 
lower time frame holders really start to come into the market and have an influence on the realized cap really we can be assured that the market isn't overheating too much we can see here that this metric is incredibly low very similar to again periods we saw in the very tail ends of the previous bear markets so until we start to see this increase and potentially line up with the peaks we've seen decreasing previously like we see here so maybe in the next cycle if we see these one month and below realized cap holder waves potentially start peaking out around 40 or 50 percent depending on how long the bull cycle takes maybe this is a great indication that we're overheating and to take some profits but like we said right now we're focusing on accumulation and we can see we're just about to turn into the next bull cycle and hopefully see some more substantial moves to the upside so just to summarize, the realized cap hodl waves gives us some key insights into the sentiment in investors and their willingness to either sell their BTC or hodl. Once we see this value increasing, especially the longer metrics that we saw previously, this indicates that people want to hold in anticipation of higher prices. And once we see the more short term age bands increase exponentially, it gives us a strong indication that people are beginning to sell their BTC. And comparing current levels to similar stages of previous cycles, we can look for patterns in trader behavior to estimate where we may be. And we're almost certainly in the early stages of the next bull cycle. Bitcoin's most influential and experienced traders are continuing to hold in anticipation of higher prices, and a lack of general retail interest only reiterates how early we are in the next bull cycle. If you like this video, then please visit lookintobitcoin.com where you can also consider becoming a site subscriber to get access to live chats, in-depth newsletters, indicator alerts, private training view scripts, and more all for a fraction of the standard industry price. And let me know in the comments down below and on social media, what metrics are you watching right now and whereabouts in the cycle do you think we currently are? Do you agree with me and think that we're in the early stages of the next bull cycle? Or do you think we're still in a bear market? Or do you think we've already seen quite a bit of the upside move we'll see in the next cycle? Let me know. As I said, I look forward to reading and replying to all of them. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.